over the last few years, streaming has become a bit of a pain in the ass. You move me. Um, what I usually do is I'll buy a month on one, watch what I need to watch, move over, maybe buy a month on another, watch what I need to watch, and so on and so on. Forever cancelling, forever not, you know, doing it that way. And it's only usually for ever for one one program. But the other about three months ago, I um for the first time in, in about a year and a half, uh I signed into Netflix, was a bit bored, uh kids had gone away for the weekend, so I thought, you know what, I'll have a look, see what's on there. And I found like this Korean section. And I started watching a few Korean things. Um, can somebody please tell me why is Korean Korean shows so fucking good? And I'm not talking about anime or cartoons. I'm talking about the actual live stuff. Um, they have so many good shows. It is unbelievable. Um, I'm watching one at the moment because I've got a month of disney plus uh because um i wanted to watch deadpool just got the urge to watch it so i thought i may as well just get it for a month uh but while i was on there I found they've added a korean section too so obviously everybody's getting in on this korean thing uh because amazon have got one um netflix have got one went on disney they've got one so on Netflix, I watched a number of Korean shows. Uh, Hellbound, amazing. Uh, one was called uh, Blood Bloodhounds. Was it called Bloodhounds? Yeah, I think it was called Bloodhounds. Absolutely amazing. Um, I'm watching one on uh, Disney at the moment called Vigilante, which again is just amazing. Why are these so amazing? But yet, what you'd call Western TV shows, but your likes of your outliers like Reacher. Um, I tried watching that Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Amazon. That was horrendous. I had to turn that off, couldn't get past, I, I just couldn't watch it, it was, it was literally appalling. Um, my Name, that was amazing as well. Uh, I think that's on Netflix. Um, I can't tell you how, you, if you're struggling to watch something, give the Korean thing a go. Give the Korean section a go. Because it is absolutely levels above what the Western TV studios are producing at the moment. Levels above. Stories, amazing. Action, amazing. Now, if, if you can, you know, because you do get a lot of people that are a bit closed-minded and uh, can't deal with watching subtitles. Me, I prefer to listen to it in Korean and put the subtitles on in English. That's the way I, I, I just, it gives it more of a, you know, it, it, it just comes across better. Because um, the faces match, match what they're saying. You know what I mean? Your emotions carry across better than when you're listening, listening to English dubs. Um, but my tip, this all this video is, is just a tip. Go and watch some Korean shows because you will be absolutely amazed. And I'm surprised a lot of YouTubers, because you see a lot of, a lot of YouTubers um, who like to moan a lot about what these streaming services are doing wrong. But they're doing this right. They get, they're, they're on a bandwagon. They have jumped on the bandwagon, all of them. And they're all seeing that people are watching Korean shows. Some people are watching Korean shows. And they're seeing how good they are. And they're banging them on the services. So give them a go. Because honestly, they're fantastic. And you will not regret it. So this is just a tip video to say, go watch some Korean TV. Start with 
Start with um, start with my no name, my name. Then maybe do uh, bloodhounds. Um, I'm sure that's what it's called, bloodhounds. I'm sure of it. Bloodhounds is a ten out of ten. One of the best shows I've seen in a very, very, very long time. Go give it a go. Thanks for watching. And I will see you again in the next one.